Hey, what's up guys? This is Raul from Firetext here, and uh, today we're going to cover importing phone numbers into your Firetext software. Now, um, those of you that don't know what that is, it is, let's open up your Firetext administrator and I will show you the section. Now, we get a lot of questions on why we haven't automated this feature, and uh, there's one, one primary reason is that we serve over 140 countries around the world, and the problem is everyone's phone number format is different, so we can't really automate that feature for you guys. So it does take a little bit of work to get in, but uh, to get your new phone numbers in, but it, it's really not that difficult. So I'm going to show you guys. So this is our user accounts over here, and you can see how I have a whole bunch of phone numbers, but we have a lot of people that, uh, that want to import phone numbers from a file. Now, typically, this is say if you have a CSV sitting around somewhere, somewhere, and you want to bring it in, it's not going to work. You, you're going to have, uh, you're going to get an error. So let's say this is a, a list one of our clients provided us. So we're going to import it and see that file is not valid. Line 100 well, does not contain a correct number of fields, and it's going to happen over and over unless you get the fields right for fire text. So, um, so let's take a look. The easiest way is. Uh, Add, let's say if you're starting with a blank database, just go add a number, let's go one, uh, then your area code 555, 555, 1212. So a good general Hollywood number, a fake number that I'm going to add today. So let's just add one in and then I'll get added in. And then you just export your current list to, uh, to your desktop. Let's go sample list. And let's take a look at the sample list over here and see what we got. Here we go. Now this will give you a really good understanding of what what uh, what our formatting is like, and you can see over here. Here's that uh, Hollywood number I added in. So this is um, the phone number. Now, as you can see, for international format, you have to go plus one, then the area code, and then your uh, suffix or prefix and suffix. And uh, and again, for your respective country, just follow the format, but remember to add a plus and then your international, uh, your continent code. Then you can give the username, and you can see in the FireTech software, I gave Raul, which is my name, and then I assigned a user, uh, user, user account. So um, so that's pretty good there, and uh, so let's just let's just uh, close that up. And uh, now you're gonna need uh, Microsoft Excel, but for those of you that haven't paid for a license, there's a good free version out there. It's called Open Office, and I'm gonna download that right now. And uh, pretty much works the same. It allows you to do formulas, and um, and that's basically what what we want. And download. Sounds good. And let's do, oh, here we go. Let's save this to our desktop. Now, in the meantime, while we let that download, basically, we're going to use OpenOffice, um, the formulas in there, and format the, the fields that you see in the sample list. We're going to format your new phone numbers to match that. So once you match those fields and import it back into FireText, then all your numbers will, will go back into your software. So this standby, and we'll just let this uh, download. Okay, so we got ourselves open office here, so I'm just going to go ahead and install it. And I'm not going to bore you guys with their installation process, but it's pretty straightforward. Just uh, Okay, so I'm all done the open office installation. And um, so what we have here, typically clients would have uh, CSV files or Excel format files. So let's uh, open these up. I'm just going to see which one I want to do first. Uh, this one looks pretty good. So let's go open with open office. Open with open office. Now again, uh, open office uh, as uh, as everyone should know, it's it's a free it's a free software, so it doesn't cost anything, and uh, that's why I am doing this. Uh, let's go A B C D, A B C D, and A. There we go. And uh, I do not want to register. Let's go finish. So I'll register later with these guys. It is good to register because because uh, it lets the company know who their customers are and uh, okay so here we go um, 
Now, what, how we have this separated would be, let's go to text delimiter. Yeah, that's perfect. Looks good. Okay, so it automatically detected my list, and it's going to open it up. Now, if you have like any uh, odd characters in there, and you can see how um, we have a lot of quotation marks. So I'm just going to do a find and a remove. Let's go find and replace. So I'm just going to do a find for quotation marks and replace with nothing. So let's go replace all, and you'll see all of ours magically disappear. Now, here's a big problem that we have. You can see half the phone numbers, we have a plus one, then a comma, which is appropriately formatted, but the rest of it is not. And uh, that's a big problem for FireText because you need to keep your phone numbers consistent, especially when you're going to be sending bulk text messages. So I'm just going to copy the numbers from the part, the, the, the numbers that are all the same here. And let's go edit, cut. Now, all those numbers are gone. Let's open up a new sheet here, new spreadsheet, and let's go paste. Perfect. Okay, so now let's take a look at our other document here and clean up all these fields. And edit and delete cells. There we go. So now we're starting from the top over here and all of our numbers look pretty consistent. Now if you guys see any five digit numbers or anything odd in there, delete them because you're not going to be able to send text messages to those guys. Those are uh, web-based short codes and um, and they're pretty much uh, useless to you. So, oh, see, you can see uh, these numbers here. So I'm just going to delete this as well because uh, it's not properly formatted. Now we got our numbers looking pretty consistent here. So let's use this feature called, um, it's called uh, concanate, concanate if I'm pronouncing correctly. And um, so let's, uh, let's add that formula. Actually, we're going to add it after. But basically, we want to add a plus here. So plus in one of the fields, hit the Enter key. Then we want to add a 1, hit the Enter key. And then let's add a comma. Um, actually, let's remove the comma because we already have the comma following each one of our phone numbers. But you know what? I'm going to show you guys here. So um, let's just find and replace commas and delete them all. So now we're starting with a fresh phone number list. So I'm going to add a comma here as well. So basically what we want to do using that uh, concanate feature is uh, we want to take the plus, add it to the, not really add it, but place it next to the one then we want to place the phone number, then we want to follow it with a comma. So we're not doing any mathematical calculations here. We're not adding things. We're just placing the characters next to each other, and that's what that, uh, that feature does. So let's use uh, the OpenOffice or Excel concanate feature. So let's go um, insert. We saw function, so it opens up this function wizard over here. Now let's scroll down to C and... Um, find that that's a formula concatenate I guess you can pronounce it so many different ways but that's the formula you want to use so let's go with that hit next now the first field it's asking us for is let's click on because we want to we want to format it this way we want to have the plus at the beginning so okay that's perfect now the second one we want to follow it with this field which is the one and then the third one is a number. And then the fourth one, we want to proceed it with the comma. Now, that's pretty good. I, I think this is pretty good for importing standard phone numbers. If you don't want to assign it to groups or if you don't want to assign um, custom, um, custom like usernames, things like that. So we'll just leave it be at that. It's a nice, simple way to format the numbers that FireText can accept. So let's hit OK once we got that format there. Now you can see we have a nicely formatted number that FireText can read and you can send outgoing text messages too. So um, let's, uh, let's just copy these. I'm just going to add a few more ones here because if you don't do that, FireText will uh, start count or uh, sorry, uh, OpenOffice or Excel will start counting the, um, 
the the one. So it'll be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you don't add multiple ones, it is autom- automatically does that to to have like a to get, provide sequential numbers. It it just does that. So okay, we've done that. Looks good. Now let's uh, drag that corner down, and you can see it's taken each one of these numbers and formatted it correctly. So let's highlight everything over here, and I'm going to drag it all the way down. Okay, so now we're here at the end, and you can see each one is respectively formatted correctly. So we're going to copy our numbers over here, so you can just right click and go copy. Then go File, New, because you want to open up a new spreadsheet where we can paste that information. You can't just hit Paste. You can't go right-click and paste, because if you do that, you can see here it copied over con the concatenate formula. And the way you get around that, let's just go Undo, and go right-click, and go Paste Special. And we want to just check... Uh, check just the text over here because that will take the finished formula and uh, allow you to just paste the finished completed numbers. So hit OK and there we go. We have some beautiful numbers here which FireText will love. So um, now let's just save this file. Go save as and let's uh, save it into a documents folder which is good but we want to save it as a text CSV file. It's a simple CSV file which is good for uh, just uh, it's like a simple spreadsheet document which is compatible with pretty much every program out there. So let's call this Raul's Raul's phone numbers complete. Now dot CSV and hit save. Now let's go navigate to that file and uh, keep current format Yes, keep current format. That's good. And uh, field text delimiter. Um, that's good. Let's just leave everything default for now. And ignore the warning because we're taking a pretty uh, complex document and making it really simple. So let's go take a look at that file over here in our documents folder. And here is a spreadsheet file that I just exported. And we're going to open it up with Notepad just to just to confirm everything looks good. Now, now this here's a problem here. Now a lot of uh, spreadsheet programs they drop extra little quotation marks, so we so we need to remove that. Let's go, edit, find and replace, and find the quotation mark and remove oh, or replace it with nothing. There we go. Now we have a nice clean document, and we can just. Uh, save it as well but what we're gonna do let's close out of our open office so discard changes discard changes and we close out of open office so let's go save as well so we don't get any um, document open errors that's why that's why I did that and close out of this and start the FireText administrator And we're going to import the phone numbers in. So you do that by selecting user accounts. And then I'll just make this full screen, full screen so you guys can see it. And go import from file. So click that and navigate to your uh, to your CSV file. So here's Raul's complete, uh, phone, or Raul's phone numbers complete. Double click and you'll see it import 8,087 phone numbers without any errors. There we go. Now the cool thing with FireText is that it automatically detects duplicate phone numbers and it'll remove them for you. So that way your customers don't receive duplicate uh, bulk text messages when you do end up sending it out. And um, also with FireText is because we didn't we didn't assign a, an ID, FireText automatically assigned an ID for each phone number that you import in. So um, so each person has a serial number there where. Um, where if you do do text to screen or if you do send out uh, bulk SMS coupons, each one will have a unique ID. And uh, guys, that's about it. That's how you import your phone numbers in. You are one step closer to being a FireText Pro. Take care, guys. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.